morning guys happy sunday it is october 22nd it is about 8 15 in the morning i've been up for give or take about an hour i woke up pretty early decided to shower and straighten my hair just kind of get ready for the day i really do like sundays to be relaxing days but at the same time i'm trying to prep and get ready for the week so a lot of the time i find if i actually get ready i i don't know i'm just more productive throughout the day and i get a lot more done it is a beautiful morning here in texas we have 50 degree weather no humidity so it's actually getting chilly and for the rest of this week we're supposed to see some much colder weather where the high is only in the 60s and the low is in the low 40s. So I'm really looking forward to that. I realized that I do need to go buy a thicker coat because mine, the one that I had from H&M for years and years, I bought it in London before H&M actually came to America. <laughs> it's all pilled and like just, it looks really nasty. Harley ate one of the buttons off of it. So I shouldn't actually eat the button. She just ripped the button off and played with it. So that jacket's, you know, I, I got rid of it. I didn't even donate it because it was just in such bad shape. So I really need to get a new, big, thick winter jacket. So that's something that I may go run and see if I can find one, or I may just shop online and see if I can find one that way. This weekend has been really great for me so far. I have gotten a lot done on multiple projects. And if you guys listened to my last podcast, which was podcast episode 17, I talked about how yesterday I just really took my time and I was really slow to get up in the morning and I just was very present in the moment and I just had this bolt of inspiration hit to work on a project that I haven't worked on in probably six months. It's a project I've been working on for years and the inspiration for it just kind of comes and goes. So I was really surprised yesterday morning when suddenly I had the inspiration to work on it and I ended up writing 5,000 words in one day for that project, which is unheard of. I think the most I've ever written in a day is a little over 3,000. So to get 5,000 words in is just, is just beyond me. <laughs> so right now I've got my laptop open. So right now I'm just working on some emails. This is just one of my inboxes, so I need to check some of my other ones. I will be planning out my week. And yeah, I'm not really sure what else I'm going to be doing today. I have a couple of things on my to-do list. I'm still feeling pretty inspired from yesterday and I just kind of want to take things easy and see if inspiration will hit me again. So I do have motivation to work on that project. So that's another thing I may be doing today. So yeah, no real plans on the agenda. We will just see how this Sunday goes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I feel so much better after getting ready and getting dressed, even though I don't think I'm going to go <laughs> anywhere today. It's just nice sometimes to to get ready, but I have some really fun mail. So the first thing I have here is my Minx Lit October box. I am super excited to do this unboxing for you guys. And then when I went to my PO box yesterday, I actually had three packages waiting for me. So I will open those as well after I do the Minx Lit unboxing. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. The first thing I see is candy. Oh yes, I have an obsession with Tootsie Rolls and I forgot how much I love Tootsie Rolls until I bought a bag of candy to hand out to the kids for Halloween and I've already eaten a good majority of the Tootsie Rolls. So we're gonna eat one of those right now. All right, so there's this really cute card that says, oh, hello. So this is just a letter to me. So cute, love that. So this is really cute. This is different from the last box. So this is kind of the spoiler list. So I am not going to read all the way through this yet because I wanna go through the items in the box and then I'll read through that. So first it looks like we have moisturizing foot soak. It's pumpkin souffle and this is from the Sugar Shack. I can't remember what the scent was, but it was kind of like a bubble gum, it was pink and I've used it a lot in the bathtub when I'm taking my bubble bath as a soak and I just love the way it smells. It smells super fruit infused and sugary and just like bubble gummy. It smells really good. So I'm excited for this because I don't have any sort of soak that is like fall scented. So the fact that this is pumpkin souffle, it's really exciting. Then there is this, let's see, 
Oh, this is adorable. It's a pen and it has a diamond. It's like a diamond pen on top of it. Oh, and it's pink and everything. Oh, I love this. Super cute quote, dreams don't work unless you do, which is by John C. Maxwell, so I love that. We'll definitely put that up in my office where I can see it. There's a really cute decal that you can put on car windows, walls, computers, mugs, phones, water bottles, glassware, etc. And it says, girl, you got this, so that's really cute. There's also a candle from Cozy Wicks called Beloved. It's a 100% soy candle. Oh, that smells really good. Next is an essential oil diffuser necklace, which is so cool. I've never seen or heard of anything like this before. So they also provided wild orange essential oils. And I actually have quite a few like eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender, and I think tea tree oil as well. So I do have some of my own essential oils, but this is so neat. There's like these little stones in the necklace. And I guess you place one to three drops of your essential oil into the necklace or kind of onto the stones. And that's really cool. That way you can, you know, diffuse your essential oils, but you know, wear it around your neck instead. That way you can always smell it if you're moving around the house or into a different room. I really like this idea and I'm excited to try it out. But it also looks like there's something from Briand, Bryand, I'm not saying that right, marketing, which is your free checklist. You can start an online business in 30 days. So that is really cool. And then there's also a tax secrets book, which is interesting, especially being an entrepreneur and having your own business, things can start to get a little bit confusing. So this will be very handy come tax time. And last but not least, we have the Conquer Kit by Natalie McNeil. This is a creative business planner for women entrepreneurs. And Natalie is the creator of SheTakesOnTheWorld.com. I'm really excited about this. It says, the Conquer Kit is a canvas for your dreams and goals. You are invited to sketch, scribble, collage, and write all over these pages, all while developing an airtight business plan with proven strategies for success. Oh yes, girl, this is right up my alley. It's basically, it's like a workbook. It's a workbook for women entrepreneurs to create your business plan, which is so cool. I'm so excited to dive into this. Okay, so I'm gonna read what else came in the box because sometimes there are other little things. So there are also some writing prompts in here as well as some blog slash vlog topics, which is really helpful. So this was a great box and I do wanna let you guys know that you can get 10% off your first Minx Lit Box by using my code on their website, which is just Kristen Martin. So you can get 10% off when you enter that code at checkout. And for the month of November, Minx Lit is also offering $100 to one of their subscribers. So it's a great time to subscribe to this box because you'll get 10% off and you'll also be entered in to win a hundred dollars for the month of November. So I mean it's a win-win. Okay we are going to go ahead and switch up the angle a little bit because I know when you just watch something from one angle it tends to get kind of stale. So switching it up but let's go ahead and open up these packages that I received. First one is from Shannon B in Minnesota and this is jam-packed guys. Oh Shannon you are so so sweet. You guys, I'm just gonna look at all the things. Look at all the things. So this is so adorable. It's kind of like a mouse pad, but not. It's like a big sticky pad, I think. But it has a column that says big plans, big ideas, and big dreams, which I absolutely love. We've also got post-it notes galore in the cutest colors. I feel like I've never seen post-it notes in these colors, but one says dream, inspire, focus, love, and believe. So this is awesome because I use post-it notes constantly. I use them all the time. And these are way cuter because they actually have like gold, the gold sides. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then sticky flags, another thing I use in all of my notebooks. I color code things and especially with NaNoWriMo and Preptober, I've been getting my notebooks super organized. So love this. I will definitely be popping these open and probably replacing my old sticky flags with these new ones because I just, these are way, way cuter. And then we have a big ideas notepad, which is so cute and it's magnetic so I can stick it to the fridge, which I love because I tend to write my grocery list on things like this. But I'm going to save this one for something special since it says big ideas. Maybe my content for my vlogs and my videos on this channel. Seriously, I'm dying right now. This stuff is so cute. So there's four pens that look identical, but they have different sayings on them. So this one says big wins, big ideas, big dreams, and big goals. 
This is so fun. I feel like I can use a specific pen depending on what I'm writing about. So when I'm writing my goals, I can use the big goals pen. If I'm writing about things I've accomplished, I can write with my big wins pen. So I love these. This is fantastic. Oh, sorry, I forgot one. There's also a big plans pen. And then there are these super cute pencils and the colors match the post-it notes, all the post-it notes that I've got, which is just absolutely adorable. So Shannon, this is seriously just such a thoughtful gift and I love getting book mail. I also love getting, I don't even know what you would call this, like office supplies mail, is that a thing? Can we make that a thing? Because I, I absolutely love this. I love getting office supplies. I've never seen this type, this branding or what is the brand? I saw it on here. Me to we. I've never heard of it and I absolutely love this stuff. It's adorable. But yes, thank you so, so much. I am so excited to use all of this for Preptober and for NaNoWriMo, so ah, I'm just really excited. All right, and the next package is from Jacqueline Young and it's book mail. It's called Freaks, episode one, The Guardian by J.O. Young. Oh, Jacqueline, thank you so, so much. I am super excited to read this, and I like that you've broken it up into episodic, episodic, I never say that word right, novellas. I think that is a really cool idea. So yeah, I'm super excited to get into this, and she even sent me a bookmark. This is so, so neat. Thank you so much, I'm excited to dive into this book. Okay, so that's all that I have for the Minx Lit unboxing and the P.O. Box haul. I realized that the other package that I got was for a collaboration with a brand that I'm going to do here on my YouTube channel, so I'm not going to open that in this video, but so much fun mail. I am so excited to just dive into all of this stuff, so. All right, so I just finished filming a collaboration that I couldn't really show you guys because that collab will be happening later on, hopefully by like end of November, early December. Fingers crossed that's when that's when I can make that happen. But um, I've made myself a little couch bed back there. I don't know if you can really see that. But I want to go ahead and upload all the footage I just filmed and kind of organize it in iMovie and make sure I have you know, the proper footage for the proper video because I just filmed a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna do that. And I think later on today, I actually went and bought some pumpkins. So let me show you. So I have three pumpkins. Obviously I'm not going to carve this white one. That one's more just for show or for decoration, but I am going to carve these two pumpkins. So that's something I wanna do today. So I actually think I'm going to put Hocus Pocus on in the background since I bought it. No shame, no shame. <laughs> and then upload this footage, just do a bunch of stuff on my computer. So that's what I'm doing right now. got hocus pocus on the television that is really really loud i just got back from walmart i bought some stuff to make the apple cider and i also really wanted to make pumpkin cookies because i haven't i don't know pump something pumpkin just sounds really good it's the fall so not much stuff here but just picked up a few of the ingredients that i didn't have so i'm going to get started with the apple cider and then i'm going to I guess while that's on the stove top, because I think it has to simmer for a while, I'll go ahead and start making the pumpkin cookies. So I'm really excited for fall treats. I'm gonna put the recipes on my phone. I think I'm actually going to get the website and pull them up on my computer and print them out because I wanna have hard copies of them. So I'm gonna go do that real fast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she just said, I am calm. Oh, Winnie. I look a little frazzled right now, and that's because it's super windy outside. And I was just out front decorating for Halloween. So it's just so beautiful outside, and it's the afternoon. I wanted to, I don't know, just change things up a little bit, get some fresh air. So I figured why not put the spider web up in the doorway and put some of the lights up and put some things in the garden area, like little ghosts and spooky skulls and things like that. So I just did a quick, sorry, Hocus Pocus is still playing in the background. But I just did a quick decorating of the outside. I'll probably go back out there later this evening because it's starting to actually get a little bit warm. It's breezy, but oh man, I was starting to like sweat. It's really gross, but 
Now I'm back inside. I have my recipes printed for the non-alcoholic homemade apple cider and then also the old-fashioned soft pumpkin cookies. So I'm gonna get baking. I've got Hocus Pocus on, but I think I need to light a candle or two to really get the vibe going. So for this recipe, you're going to need eight to 10 apples, granulated sugar, cinnamon, and allspice. So I have got the apple cider cooking on the stove top. It's supposed to sit there uncovered on high for an hour. And so now I'm going to move on to the old fashioned soft pumpkin cookies. And there are a lot of ingredients for this. So I'm just gonna read them out loud real fast. It's two and a half cups all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon salt, one and a half cups granulated sugar, half a cup butter, one stick softened, one cup of Libby's 100% pure pumpkin, which in case you don't know, that's what this is. One large egg, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and then there's the glaze recipe, which is two cups powdered sugar, three tablespoons milk, one tablespoon melted butter, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. So lots of ingredients. This is from Very Best Baking, Dot com. So I'll make sure to leave the links to both of these recipes in the description box below in case you're in the mood to make some fall treats. Not gonna lie time got away from me real real quick and you can tell that my nose sounds like it's stuffed up so I feel like I was just doing so much today and it's actually cold outside I think my body is trying to adjust to this cooler weather but it is now nine o'clock in the evening and I think I'm gonna go ahead and read some more of stalking Jack the Ripper because yes I am still reading it and I'm probably going to upload more of this footage and get it all squared away and ready to go for this week. So that's all I have for this vlog. Sorry it was a little bit all over the place. I had a lot that I wanted to do today and I did get a lot done, but I think we kind of switched over into kind of festive Halloween, October, fall mode. So I hope that you guys did enjoy that. Perhaps it got you motivated to bake or make something or carve a pumpkin or watch scary movies because that that is what this season is all about. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. Don't forget there is a freebie over on my website at thatsmarthustle.com called five action steps you can take right now to start showing up for your dreams. And if you love that guide, then you are going to love my Hustle Smarter, Not Harder webinar series, which is still available at its discounted rate. Just go to thatsmarthustle.com and click on the webinars tab on the menu bar to learn more, read testimonials of people who have actually paid for and taken the course and to sign up. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you're at in the world and I will see you in my next video. Bye!